Well, good morning YouTube, let's start another vlog. Since I've not done one in a while and I've done kind of itty bitty bits and none of them really make a full vlog. So let's start a new one. Uh, think of a topic, think of a topic. Okay, um, motorbikes. I've noticed that just since I started there's a lot more bikes on the road. I don't know whether it's just because I'm noticing them more because I'm riding now or, or whether there are more, but I've got a feeling that the number of bikes is increasing, which isn't surprising really given the cost of petrol and the traffic jams that we get and all that kind of thing. So here's a question. You watch people like um, 13 Mordeth and if I'm honest with you it's scary looking at the amount of bikes that are on the road and the kind of entanglement that they all get into. So the question is, is it a good thing that a lot more people are riding bikes? Or will it take away the freedom that we get by you know, if there's only a couple of you trying to filter through the traffic, you can get through. But if there's 30 of you trying to filter through the traffic, will it all come become congested and we'll end up with a third traffic jam down the middle? It's an interesting question, I think. I'd like to think that it won't be the case and we'll all still retain our freedom because, you know, let's be honest, I've been looking at 600cc bikes, some of the older ones, and they'll only do 40 miles to the gallon, so they're not really saving much on petrol, so I think they're doing a lot in the kind of car space in terms of electric cars and things like that, that a lot of people will stick to their cars. Still not plug my gloves in. I'm going to let a little bit of air into my visor because it's uh, pretty steamed up. So yeah, I mean the other thing I've been thinking about recently as well is that obviously when I do pass my test, and I've, I've just bought my Mod 1 yesterday with um, Russ at Roadcraft, but that's not till April. Um, the other question I have to myself is, do I get rid of this bike? Because it does 130 miles to the gallon. Is it a wise thing to get rid of it? And I know it struggles to get much above sort of 55 miles an hour, which is a pain sometimes, but there's only one section of my route where it goes above 40 anyway. So, is it a real bad thing? Come on in. Because, um, I mean, I love it. I absolutely love it. I just wish there was a bit more torque um, higher up. Because, I mean, 4th and 5th, they don't really need to be here, to be honest with you. You could just have one gear. Because you twist the throttle in 4th, uh, it's barely any difference twisting the throttle in 5th, nothing happens. around this bus. Oh, if I thought about it quicker. It's a bit too late now. Clocks will change. Lights will change, you know what I mean? God, my hands are freezing. I'm going to have to pull it. Oh, God. Forming ice. Come on then, Palo, you're going to leave me stuck alongside this bus.
Well, hey, it's on the outside. Hey! <coughs> Good old V-Wipe. I think it was, was it Extreme 601 I was telling about. I think he said he's already got one, though. Uh, they are awesome, though. A windscreen wiper for your fingers. Oh, I'm going to have to pull in. Can't feel my fingers. I'm actually, there's ice forming on my jacket. I think it's just all the fog. It's actually kind of water, but it is so cold. It's kind of like frosting up. I assume we're going straight on then fire. Let's hope there's shed loads of traffic coming around the roundabout. I can plug myself in. Fuck it. So I just pull in here. I need to put my gloves on. <laughs> <laughs> 